already up. Oh, what an adventure we are going to have today. Better buckle up. Although, why I'm telling you, you just saw the highlights. So, pour something to drink, take some treats, and let's get started. Rawai and Ehar, when we arrived here, we only heard how everyone around was singing about this area and trying to find housing here. Why do all expats love this area so much? Let's find out! Rawai and Ehar are the southern part of the island and someone will say that this is the coolest beach, in his personal opinion. Someone will say that there are many schools and kindergartens or that there are many ducks, cats, elephants. For myself, I add that there are a lot of aggressive kleptomaniac eagles here, but more on that later. Or that only here you can meet the Batmobile. In general, let's talk about everything in other and traditionally start with the beaches. Welcome to Naihar! This beach is famous for its golden sandy shores surrounded by emerald waters. This is the perfect place for romantic walks, relaxing with family or solitude with your fats. There is a coniferous forest near the beach where you can hide from the sun if you get very hot. Also along the beach there are many restaurants, shops with food, clothes and all sorts of things. Near Naiharn there is another beach called Yanui. This is a small, cozy beach where you can sometimes meet nudists. But if they watched our channel, they would know where to find a wild beach to sunbathe in the bath and not embarrass anyone. We love coming to Yanui to snorkel. On the other side of Naihar there is one small but proud beach Ao Sin. On the way to the beach you can meet a couple of interesting cafes with a view of Naihar, but for now we will go further. Ao Sin is the place where you will find peace and connection with nature. Soft sand that caresses your feet and water that changes shades from deep blue to vibrant turquoise create the perfect combination for total relaxation or creativity. For example, we met one guy here. He arrived from France and with his own efforts he is trying to turn all musty ruins into something beautiful. In general, this is a rather quiet place. Few people and an excellent spot for snorkeling thanks to the coral reef. But these ruins give this beach some special atmosphere and make it stand out from the rest. We moving on. Welcome to Rawai. This beach is not very suitable for swimming as boats and yachts move here. Historically, Rawai is a fishing village. Accordingly, where there are many boats, there is a lot of engine oil, gasoline and other things that pollute the water. So for swimming it's better to choose another beach. But on the other hand, it's not crowded here, it's pretty quiet and you can enjoy nature and admire colorful boats. Near 
on the beach you can find a fish market, where local fishermen offer fresh seafood. This is a great place to try authentic Thai dishes made with fresh fish. We go further to show you another little known beach, Sang Chai. There are also few people here, but you can already swim, sunbathe or sit in the shade. Fortunately, there are a lot of trees here, and there is also a cool barman. And the last beach that we recommend you to visit in this area is Friendship Beach. There are almost never waves here, but very expressive ebb and flow. The water rises and falls right before your eyes. However, the water here is far from the clearest. And there is also a very cool tree under which you can spend time with your friends. In general, the beach is very long, only locals come to swim on it, and there is enough space for everyone. A small challenge for you. Whoever is the first to count or get the exact number of crabs in this frame and write in the comments, we will send a postcard from Thailand and a kilogram of juicy mangoes. Hello again, we have a little present for you. We are developing a series of Phuket travel guides and we want to give you one guide absolutely free. There will be a link to our website in the description. All you need to do is go ahead and submit your email address and soon we will send one of our guides to you. And if you like this guide and want to support our channel, you can buy another guide on our website or on Patreon benefit for you and support for us at the moment when we need it most. So we figured out the beaches, now a few words about housing in the area. Prices here are above average, this is due to the high demand for housing. And the thing is that this area has a fairly convenient infrastructure, many schools and kindergartens for expats, so if you are moving to Phuket with your family, this area is one of the best for you. In addition to condos, there are many houses, villas and just townhouses for rent in this area. But there are not so many hotels here, as for example in the Kata area, which we recently told you about. But we really liked one resort here, it's called Coco Place. We love such atmospheric places and can pass by. Speaking about a quiet family vacation, I would like to mention the park on Naiharn, an excellent quiet place for walks, picnics, sports and meditation.
Now I will tell you something that no blogger on YouTube will tell you about. If you live in Rawai or Chalong, one cool option is available to you. It's very cheap food. Do you want to buy a ready-made hot, really delicious omelette for breakfast for only 12 baht? Then you need the super cheap store. But not any, but one specific. If this video gets 1000 likes, I'll send a link to its location on the map in the comments. In general, it is advisable to get up earlier and come here before lunch, so that there is more choice of food. Right at the entrance, we are greeted by various pastries and sweet cakes. For example, croissant for 13 baht. Or here's another pineapple bun, also 13 baht. On 7-Eleven, the same bun will cost almost two times more, just to be clear. But this is only the beginning. We go deep into the store and what do we see? Noodles for 15 baht. Chicken with vegetables in sauce, 35 baht. Some minced meat with vegetables for 40 baht. Boiled chicken, 40 baht. Rice with egg and vegetables, only 25 baht. And many, many other freshly prepared foods. Here is chicken curry with rice, 25 baht. Here is such a crispy chicken, 30 baht. Tastes better than KFC 100 times. Boiled rice, only 10 baht. Well, that same bum omelet for 12 baht. Finger licking good. We looked at the beaches, chose housing, figured out the food and now the most interesting – where to go and what to see in the area. Forgive me, but I play this card. Between Naiharn Beach and Yanui Beach there is one beautiful viewpoint. It differs from other viewpoints by the presence of a tall, white windmill. From this point there is a gorgeous view of Yanui, Naiharn and the Koman Island. Watching the sunset here is a whole different story, a very sweet, atmospheric and romantic story. Furthermore, we pass Yanui Beach and we are met by Cape Ramtep, the southernmost point of the island. This cape is considered one of the main symbols of Phuket. It's known for its beautiful panoramic ocean views and is a very popular spot for photo sessions and relaxation.
sunsets here are incredible too. So what am I telling you about Rava in Nehar? It's quiet and calm here, it's quiet and peaceful there. No, this won't work. I need to fix it. But so that you don't get tired of the video, I listened to your comments and decided to split large videos into two parts. So in the second part you will see a completely different south of the island. Wild, fast, aggressive, but at the same time still beautiful and falling in love with yourself. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the second part of the video. That's all for today. See you in new videos. Sawadee